What's a story you want to tell but haven't had a post that let you? Through varying circumstances I've met every person who has been President of the United States in my lifetime, though, I've never actually met any of them while they were President. My family was on vacation once to a city we'd never been to. It was a stop on a road trip, and we were walking down the street when we passed a church that was having a funeral. My dad saw the sign, and turned right around and went inside. My mom and siblings and I didn't know what was going on so we followed him. He walked in and walked right up to a man standing over a casket and when they made eye contact they both just wrapped each other in the longest, strongest hug I'd ever seen. My dad got super teary right away, which scared me half to death because he usually never showed any emotions. There weren't many people still in the room. I think the funeral must have ended and only immediate family were lingering. Anyways, long story short, the guy was a close childhood friend of my dad's whom he'd lost touch with and the funeral was for his brother, the way they automatically picked up after 30 years like that. My dad ready to assume the supportive role and his friend having no qualms about being open with him. Always stuck with me. Edit. Thanks so much for the silver. My mom never explained to me what my period was until I woke up screaming and crying because I thought I was stabbed in my sleep. There was so much blood. I was born a super preemie. I weighed only 1 pound and 12 ounces. It'll be 25 years old soon. I was an ignorant child. My friends had a trampoline but the springs broke in the tarp tour. They convinced me that they had a buddy that was giving us their trampoline. We just had to pick it up. We rode our bikes over and went into their backyard. They said they were on vacation and it was cool. We put the springs and tarp into backpacks and rode them a few miles back to their house. It wasn't until that night I realized WTF had happened. I dated in a passion. First girlfriend. Girlfriend 2. Girlfriend 3. Girlfriend 2 again. Girlfriend 1. Now I'm married to my first girlfriend. Who was my first kiss. And we have a baby on the way. Life is funny sometimes. When I was in 8th grade. My best friend and I were playing video games at a friend's house down the street. We were on the third floor in the back of the house. And heard a huge crashing explosion sound outside that shook the whole house. That turned off the power. We quickly ran downstairs to see what happened. Turns out a tractor trailer at the top of the hill had its brakes fail and drove right through. Their newly renovated kitchen. Cost them like $20k the month prior. The truck was full of live chickens and there were dead, alive, and half dead chickens. Feathers. Chicken blood everywhere. It was insane. The driver was miraculously okay. Minus a concussion. Some guy from Corpus stopped by later when the police and fire trucks were there. And the company ended up giving me and my friends free chicken for life as an apology for the incident. I'm 46 years old and haven't paid for chicken at the supermarket for over 30 years. I just hand them one of the thousands of vouchers they sent me in the mail with no expiration date. For one free any size family pack of chicken breasts or thighs. I've probably saved at least $10k over my lifetime on free chicken. Came into class once, but teacher was busy writing summer hang on the board so I silently ran to my desk, sat down, and put my bag down. I got away with it somehow. Also the fact that I was sorting by new looking for a place to post this story and when I refreshed, this popped up. My friends and I caught one of my teachers taking photos of other female teachers asses. Peas. We're pretty sure he knows he saw it happens as he has been kissing up to us for the past 3 weeks. One time I jizzed on my blanket and willing fully chose not to wash it. When my girlfriend asked what the stain was I told her I think the dog threw up on the blanket. Now every time my dog tries to get on the bed she gets scolded with you better not throw up. Apparently someone I'm friends with on Facebook used one of those shitty quiz apps and it somehow compromised my data in the Cambridge Analytica data breach. Facebook sent me a message about it. 
but didn't identify the moron responsible. It makes me irrationally angry. So I closed my Facebook account and am done with the site. I still operate a burner Facebook account for app data saving that has no info on it. I'll never visit the actual Facebook site again. I was a member from the beginning when you still needed a edu email to register. A buddy of mine and I play VR chat at Duckton. He likes to be lewd and super horny on the game though while I use it to socialize mainly. A good big titty avatar isn't that bad though. But one day he comes on and is like bro I've never been more horny in my ducking life I feel 13. Again. I tell him he should stop being lewd. Next day he comes on and says he's dropping the game entirely. I ask why and apparently he had VR sex with a chick that was actually a dude. A worse nightmare lol. Been reading Stephen Fry's take on Greek mythology recently. And the story of Pandora. Specifically. How hope. After being trapped in that box with pain and suffering. Wasn't fast enough to escape while it was open. Humanity only has hope because she is forever trapped in the darkness. But ever hopeful that she will someday break free. That shit ducked me right up. And have been dying to share. Thanks for the opportunity. Op. Had two bullies. I ducked the first one's mom and the second one had a successful acting career. It all came crashing down on TMZ. It was fan ducking tastic. In high school. I got in trouble for not being able to afford skates. So I went to go study in the cafeteria instead because I had a test coming up the next day. 10 minutes into my study session. My principal ran up to me with 4 other facility members screaming. Apparently it's forbidden to study in school so I got sent home for the rest of the day. The closest I've been to a fist fight in my adult life was in a Walmart parking lot when someone yelled at my GF's doggo, grimacing face. I've been kicked out of multiple churches for doing stupid shit. One time I was eating a Big Mac and one of my mates threw some chips at me. Once I went to church and my bro tripped me in front of the priest so I slapped him on the head. Another time. I rode a dirt bike near the church until the priest went out and shouted at me. Another time I went to the Christmas mass and there was a surprise baptism halfway through the mass and it lasted for 5 hours. So one of my mates shouted FFS really loud. The priest would go on and on for hours. This is all true BTW. There's all kinds of privilege. White. Cis. Economic. ETC. Nobody talks about smiling privilege. Having a good smile and knowing how to use it can get you far in life. And not everyone has a good smile. I kinda sorta want this to be a thing. One time in theater a friend. We will call her Edge. And I wear workshopping characters. And she asked me if I knew a swear word in another language. I know Swedish. So I told her that Ost was Swedish for duck. Ost means cheese. She named her character Ost and after 20 minutes me laughing at her. I told Edge what Ost really means. She took a good, hard look at me and said dead serious. This is why I have trust issues. I don't know when or why it started. But whenever I'm in the car I'll look outside the window at the dotted lines on the road. If my vision closest to me sees the space between the lines, I blink. If there's a line close to me and the space is farther in the distance, I don't blink. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but it's become semi-unconscious now. Quit my second job so I can focus more on my primary career, teaching. I know a girl who likes to draw guys in stripper outfits. In late 6th grade I only wore shorts, not underwear. I usually wore very loose cargo shorts. And being a prepubescent slime, I got the chippity chubby very often. I guarantee that my honker was visible to everyone almost every single day. But no one had the nerve to tell me. Well, on the last day of 6th grade, my class went outside for a water balloon fight. On this day, I was once again rocking the cargo. At some point. A guy hit me right in the crotch with a big balloon. And it was a hefty throw. So I bent over in pain. But at the same time. 
I felt my love wand rising. I get up. And realize that so much water had soaked my shorts. That you could literally see my penis through my shorts as if they were translucent. Like. You could see vintage and shit. Everyone in my class was either running away screaming. Or dying laughing. Because everyone saw. The worst part was when I heard someone yell it's especially bad this time. And at that moment. I realized that I should have been wearing underoos from the start. TL. DR. Cargo shorts and lots of water equals glimpse of manhood.